Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant Collins from cyberacademy.org. In today's lesson, I'm going to be briefly overviewing and documenting how I go about my learning process when it comes to learning in cybersecurity. So to get started, there are tons of resources out on the internet, both free and paid, uh, that you can utilize to get yourself started in cybersecurity. Regardless of where you're at right now in the world or what level you are at, it's important that you continue down a learning path or journey. Always being in a continuous state of learning is gonna help you as an individual and as a student grow into a specific skill set or sharpen your skills within a particular area in cybersecurity. So I always encourage you to learn in cybersecurity regardless of where you're at, whether you're at university or you're a high school student or you are in a career transition. Now, when it comes to picking a topic for cybersecurity and more specifically a learning resource, one of the fundamental ideas to keep in mind is to stay consistent towards the learning resource that you choose. Whether that is a paid learning resource or that is a free learning resource, it is very important and critical that you don't doubt yourself and that you go through the entire process of the course, a book, whatever it is. Whether you feel like it or not, it's important that you stay committed. The second thing to keep in mind is to be consistent. Staying consistent means dedicating a period of time of within your day or within your week where you can set aside some time to learn uh, this learning resource and to actually uh, follow along with full attention. It's important that you stay committed and consistent in the process. And then finally, it is important that you apply your teachings and what you have learned through projects, through research, and through more. When it comes to my learning resource and what I do, I usually like to have a list of learning resources that I utilize. Now, you can find a complete list of learning resources, including training platforms, both free and paid, courses, books, YouTube channels, podcasts, and much more on this website, cyberacademy.org backslash resources. Once I have found a resource and a topic that I want to learn, the next thing I do is I create a baseline plan. This plan documents what I'm going to learn, what my goal or what my hopes are after learning something, whether it's a course. And then I like to dedicate a certain period of time of day. I like to have that written down on my plan. So let's go ahead and show you a sample worksheet that I utilize when it comes to developing my learning plan. All right, so here we have the cybersecurity resources page on the Cyber Academy website. Uh, here we have the learning resources in terms of training platforms, courses, books, and general resources. And within the general resources, we have an additional podcast security websites and YouTube channels. Uh, all of these here are resources that you can utilize to get started. Uh, they have each a little description of the what's you know what the resource is about, and all of these lists are both free and paid resources, and they're general websites included. There is no selling of any sorts. It's just all here for you. But once you have that resource chosen and you have a topic chosen that you want to learn from, you can use a learning plan to really organize your thoughts as well as offer a springboard or a launch pad into your learning process. So what I like to do is develop a little learning plan like this worksheet I have here. And you can follow my five-step process, which I know sounds like a marketing guru kind of thing, but uh, here it is. It's the five-step process that you can see on the website that I utilize when it comes to developing a learning plan. So usually I like to talk about what I'm learning, what kind of category it falls under, as well as dedicating my specific amount of time uh, as in, in, in work towards my overall plan in this learning resource. So this is my worksheet as well as all the resources are up on the Cyber Academy website, completely free. Uh, yeah, so let's transition back. Learning in cybersecurity, as I said, is very important. So having a plan, as I just documented there, is, is really significant and is really gonna help you as an individual continue to progress, continue to stay committed and consistent to the learning process. So that is it for today's lesson and uh, thank you and best of luck to you and your learning plan in cybersecurity.